Yeah, in the bladder, it's, there has not been very much done in the bladder. Um, globally, uh, what we have one new type, subtype of tumors, which is a microcystic, which is the trabecula, but globally, I think it's more or less the same. So it's not very, very, very important. Um, the WHO puts really a focus on the endophytic lesions, which exist and which are not so infrequent, I would say, so that the grading is, should be the same as in the exophytic lesions with pun lumps, high grade, low grade. We, we give a focus on the molecular part of the, of the tumors because the WHO is such, supposed to be something which is, should be used by everybody, not only by pathologists, but also oncologists, the urologists, genetics, and so on. So we really put a big focus uh, on molecular data and a little bit the overlapping between histology. And we also put a huge focus on um, MRI because uh, you know there might be MRI with the virus system, which is uh, close to the pirates in the prostate. Um, maybe this could be helpful for staging because pathology alone is probably not enough for the clinical staging before a major treatment um, because um, you know, if you have imaging and pathology, you will probably be more precise than if you have just one of those. What else? Um, we have caps dysplasia in the in the chapter together with carcinoma insider. There was also a very huge discussion about dysplasia. Shall we keep it? Shall we not keep it? Um, because the problem is we have a very poor inter-observer reprodu reproducibility uh, for these lesions, um, but they do exist. Obviously, they do exist. Um, so therefore, we thought we felt that we should keep it in. On the other hand, and I think this is really a little bit of shame, uh, we do not talk about what was before called hyperplasia or um, U-pump, which is um, always uh, unclassified, no uncertain. Uh, I, I, it's very complicated, the name which was in 2016, which was the same like hyperplasia. So we do not talk about this anymore because we say we lack of data, which is true. We say that if you have a PDA low-grade tumor and on the side you have this kind of hyperplasia, one is probably a shoulder lesion. If it's all alone, you never really detect them because they don't show any urinary symptoms. So it's pretty difficult to say how often they exist, but most of the time they're very close to the PDA low-grade tumor. So we do not talk about those at all. We have kept the same grading system as before. So pan lumps, which are the papillary, low malignant potential tumors, which are extremely rare. And we have kept low grade and high grade. And what we have done also, but which was already in there before, was the 5% cutoff, which means if you have a heterogeneous tumor in the bladder and you have more than 5% of high grade tumor, it becomes a high grade tumor. If it's less, for example, let's say 2%, you say it's a low grade tumor, but with 2% of a high grade uh, proportion, which is important because there might already be some kind of aggressive potential in these kind of, of tumors. Um, so these were globally the most, I think, the most important features in, in the bladder. Yeah. And we talk about substaging too, because we have already talked about substaging in 2016. It was strongly recommended, um, but they didn't tell us how to do it. So this time they strongly recommend. We still do not know exactly how to do it because there's no consensus, but they recommend, let's say, not really recommend, but they suggest that the histoanatomic or the micrometric methods are probably the best and say, well, if you used to do something and your clinicians are happy with it, just go on and keep on doing it but you should do it.